that is a very angry koala with a very bloody hatchet. Lizzie Borden from Down Under is really the only thing here, huh? Okay, that's fine. You know what? It means I have lots of time to save up money and send in the big guns. Get in there, Poseidon. You're in it to win it. <laughs> Fire right in his face. Oh my god. You know what? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Why is it every time a god is on the other team, they ball like Michael Jordan, but when they're on my team, they ball like Michael Jackson? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Battle Cats. That game with bright colors and cheerful music, funny cartoon cats, and a dark, ominous power that has been quite literally looming over me for years. As I'm sure many of you will remember, I've made quite a few attempts at killing Cat God, and none of them have gone particularly well. But today that's gonna change, because I I've been preparing, I I've gotten a whole bunch of these treasures, which make me stronger. Every time I gold medal a level, then we unlock a little bit of a treasure like the Stellar Garnet, that makes me stronger against starred aliens. Or the Phoebe Barrel, which makes me stronger against starred aliens. Or the Lunar Citrine, which makes me stronger against starred aliens. Or the Ganymede Topaz, which makes me stronger against starred aliens. Or, or the Callisto Amethyst, which makes me stronger against starred aliens. You might be seeing a bit of a pattern here, okay? It is all very important because God wields a horde of starred aliens. And not angels. Never did quite figure out why that's the case. Now the one treasure I haven't managed to unlock yet is this one, and I've been told that instead of weakening starred aliens, it'll weaken Cat God himself, which seems really important, because he's the biggest problem, literally and figuratively, you know, he's like borderline immortal as is, and all I have to do to unlock this is wage war at the center of a black hole. So let's take a look at the cats I'm gonna do that with. Now, if things didn't already sound hard enough, don't worry, it, it gets harder because there are conditions to this battle. Not only can I only send out 10 cats at a time, but I also can't use any normal cats, any like meat and potatoes cats, you know, the units that I would always use. Instead, we have to use special, rare, super rare, uber rare, and legend rare cats. So this is gonna be a bit of a weird lineup, especially with our meat shields, because like I can't use any of the regular ones that I would normally use, and I can't spam them. We have a cap of only 10 units out at once, so I need our frontliners to survive. That's why we've got Yangshi Cat, he can survive a lethal attack. We've got Rice Ball Cat, because he's a complete chonker, lots of health there. We've got Ramen Cat, who again, lots of health, but also attacks really quickly, which is gonna be important because I'm pretty sure there are robots in this level. And uh, Catasaurus is good at dealing with robots. I never did fully understand why the unit that wields a, a bone on the back of a dinosaur is good against technology, but a uh, critical strike, that's really all we need. We've got Cyborg Cat, who I'm only just now noticing is framed at the tits and not the face. How have I played hundreds of hours of this game and I'm only just now noticing this awkward portrait? <laughs> Either way, very strong cat. Seafarer cat, great against aliens. Chill cat, great against aliens. And then the rest are just gonna be a, a whole bunch of Ubers that do uh, a lot of damage, and they're the ones that we need to hopefully survive. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I haven't tested this lineup. I have no idea what the odds of us beating this level again are, but I do know the odds of unlocking the treasure are very, very small because it's completely random. You gotta grind through the levels over and over and over again, and I don't want that to be the case. So we are gonna bring a treasure radar. 100% chance of treasure, get a superior treasure, or the standard reward upon victory. That would be lovely. Other than that, I guess we just pray? Or, or no, don't pray. Cat God is not on our side. Uh, oh, we cross our fingers, I suppose. Oh, there he is in the sky, as always. Just gonna play this cool, wait for them to come to us. Well, so far so good. They've just sent out a, a whole bunch of black dogs. I spoke a little bit too soon there. Okay, well, we've got a start alien, which I should be very prepared for. Let's go ahead and send in 
see fairer cat or not? Why can't you see fairer cat? Was this your doing, you black sphincter in the sky? Okay, I I'm just gonna have to send out Marin Mizu as well as uh, a little bit of everything. Am I, am I max cats already? Okay, yeah, you see, that's the problem. I've got a bunch of really strong cats that I could use right now, but it won't let me until stuff dies. Okay, you're dead, good. I really don't want to send in Bahamut right now. I would much rather wait, because as soon as we go knocking on that strange egg pile, then I, I know something is gonna come out, and Bahamut would just get in there, poke it once, and die. So I, I really need to send out everything that can kill the robot first. The friggin' robot is, is gonna run body block, and we don't want that. So fire the cat cannon! There we go, I feel good. Break some shield, get the catasauruses in there. I'm fine with them moving towards the base. We can back things up a little bit, folks. That's all right. Just got to make sure that we're always spending our money. I've got more money than I do cats at the moment. But only send out stuff that can kill these friggin' robots. We need to get through them first. Then we can get to the giant alien starfish. Listen, okay, I'm not going to try to explain anything in this game. Please land a critical strike. What are you guys doing? Somebody kill the robots! I'm not seeing any more robots, which is a good thing, but I am seeing a whole bunch of my cats die, which isn't necessarily great. Fortunately, I've got such a block of money that I can replace them with pretty much whatever I want. The biggest thing right now is, is hoping that we could do enough damage to kill this thing, and every time it hops back, I just assume that it's dead. Oh. What the- Oh, not another one of you! Guys, I, I know that we've got a main target right now, but yeah, if we could also focus the, the friggin' underground alien mole police. I, I really, really, really want to try to explain what it is you guys are watching right now, but I just can't. Oh, crap. Uh, Maramizu, last man standing. This thing is so friggin' strong against aliens that it, it, it's like aliens don't damage it. If I can protect it for long enough, I can get another one? Another one? I would like another one. Yeah, can't kill some stuff. Thank you. Okay, just send in another one. Build up the Marin Mizus and I'll be uber carried to the end of this level. I don't care. I am more than fine with using all of the cool cats that I spent a ton of time trying to get. Okay, vomit. Go, 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 go. Smack stuff. Smack all the stuff. We lost our Marin Mizu. That's good. Killed the cops. Oops. Watch our phrasing real quick. And Bahamut is dead. Wonderful. How much punishment can this friggin' fish take? Just die, yes! Okay, there can't be anything else in there, right? That had to have been the boss. So now, all we have to do is tumble the tower and, and get the treasure, because I brought the treasure radar, so there's no luck involved. Oh, everything went perfectly as planned. We're not gonna look at Seafarer, we're just gonna scroll away and watch the base tumble. I could have sworn that it said super rare cats. Was that really the only super rare I brought? Either way, we've got it, which means we unlocked Mystery Mask. Okay, so what does it do? A strange effect will activate when chapter one is cleared. That's... Not really what I was hoping for. I need help clearing chapter one, not help afterwards. Maybe if we need help killing a god, we should just recruit other gods. Like, screw the treasures. I, I want Radiant Aphrodite, to be perfectly honest. I don't have any of the Almighties, but if I can get Radiant Aphrodite, then it it's game over. Cat God can suck a fart out my ass. Yeah, there's no way I can resist this. Not only is it a 100% chance at getting an Uber Super Rare, so I'm guaranteed a new Uber, instead of like the normal 11% chance or whatever it would be, but it even costs half as much, only 750 cat food, which I would imagine is a good thing because cat gods probably eat a whole lot of cat food. <laughs> fingers crossed. Actually, I don't need my fingers crossed. I'm guaranteed one. Even though I could get more than one, would that be too greedy? Pirate Cat is fine, but I'm gonna hope for more than one. 
I'm even fine getting stuff like, who is this, Anmyoji Cat, I think? This is turns into Jiangshi Cat, I, I can never pronounce anything, but point is, that is a level for a cat that I use a whole lot, which is not as good as an Uber, but I'm looking at the bright side of things. I don't know if there's necessarily a bright side to uh, more pirate cats, but if there is, I'll try to find it later. Okay, yeah, this is Salon Cat, I think. Again, another cat that I already have. I have most of the cats in this game, to be honest, or at the very least, many of them. This is the one that evolves into the mom cat with all the kittens hanging off her titties. It's not exactly a god, but uh, memorable. Oh my god, you're breaking my balls here. I can't, is it gonna be the last one? Honestly, weightlifter cat, because I know that again, you evolve into a cat with some real fat kitty titties, but uh, we're, we're just, we're trying to get a god here, okay? Stay on target. I don't recognize this one. Okay, it's a super rare. That's good, is it new? It is new! All right, we got a new cat, it, it, Cutter Cat which seems to be a, a couple of cats driving around on a space lawn mower with clothesline and barbecue. Uh, okay, I like it. We're gonna have to look into Cutter Cat a little bit more in the future, maybe evolve it, that'd be cool. We don't need to look into Shaman Cat though, this thing sucks. Oh my god, it's actually gonna be the last one. I mean, I always forget to count. We get 11 of them. I don't know where we are right now, but I've definitely seen Botisbotikat before. This is super rare. I like super rares, and it's kind of godly, but again, not close enough. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Just put me out of my misery with the tension wheel cat. A, a good one, honestly. It's only rare, but it'll increase our snowflake cat or whatever the one that's really good against aliens I was using earlier in this level. Like a, a genuinely useful cat, sure. All right, yeah, copy paste everything I just said about wheel cats for Jurassic cat, and, and we could just move on. I want to get my Uber, damn it. No, 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 this isn't Radiant Aphrodite. I mean, you can't really be upset. It, it, Wrathful Poseidon is still really freaking cool. He's so big and, and colorful and he's a god, but he's not gonna help us against cat gods, so it's a, it's a real kick in the pants. What do you even do? Wrathful Poseidon, master of storms and seas, one of the 12 supreme Olympian gods, sacred trident's area attack, 100% freezes, Zombies slash metal foes. Okay, you know what? I was a little bit disappointed at first, but if he freezes, if he keeps zombies dead, he has an area of attack. I've really needed a cat that can just shit all over zombies and that fits the bill. That being said, he really isn't a radiant Aphrodite, and I don't have enough cat food to go again as much as I would like to, so I'm just gonna piss away a golden ticket, okay? I know it's like a 1% chance or whatever, but I'll really just take whatever I get. <laughs> yeah, oh wait, you're not radiant Aphrodite either. What are you, Lucifer the Fallen? I don't think I've even heard of this cat. Oh, this is the one that they added later. The Almighty's is a, a really old line of cats in this game, but I think this one was added recently. Maybe it's good? I can't believe I got two Ubers. I think I pooped myself a little bit. Lucifer the Fallen, expelled after attempting to acquire forbidden powers, annihilates opponents with his fallen angel's hellblade. Yeah, if you could show that to us, that, that would be great. Cool. Maybe you could do it all, like, on screen? They're so big. <laughs> Strong versus floating slash Aku. Chance of surge attack. Aku. I... Do I know what Aku is? I don't know what Aku... I should probably know what Aku is. <laughs> Crap. Okay, well, yeah, strong against stuff, surge attacks, evades surge attacks, area of attack, long distance, that's like the most important thing in any Uber. All right, you know what? Didn't get Radiant Aphrodite, but I'm satisfied. Well, as much as I would absolutely love a rematch against Cat God right now, I, I still feel like we're not 
quite there yet. I've got 6 million XP. If I do one more XP weekend, then I should be able to get enough to really level up and evolve our most important cat. Right now, I, I kind of want to try out all the new stuff that I've gotten. We were really lucky, and I, I want to put them in an environment where they won't get pounded into a slurry, like stories of legend. Let's try body and soul. Sunset's Howl. I've heard this is largely red units. You know, red units are pussies. Then again, you so am I, the cat army and so on and so forth. But I, I think we'll be fine. Uh, that is a very angry koala with a very bloody hatchet. Lizzie Borden from Down Under is really the only thing here, huh? Okay, that's fine. You know what? It means I have lots of time to save up money and send in the big guns. Get in there, Poseidon. You're in it to win it. <laughs> Fire right in his face. Oh my god. You know what? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Why is it every time a god is on the other team, they ball like Michael Jordan, but when they're on my team, they ball like Michael Jackson? This isn't fair. I knew he had wave attacks, but oh, Poseidon's only level one. I didn't want to spend any of my XP. Oh, that's that's my bad, actually. <laughs> okay, well, we brought Apple Cat, which means we can hopefully delay for just like 300 more gold, 200 more gold. There we go. That's the guy who's really good against wave attacks. Fires a cat cannon, push him back. I, I want him to stop hitting the base. Perfect, perfect. Okay, he's, he's, he's not perfect. Not perfect, he's hitting the base. There's another one. I didn't even see the other one. I was just happy we pushed him back for a second. Uh, could you maybe kill him? Just smush him. Just, just hit him with those big old ugly arms of yours. Nope, not that one. We, we haven't even pushed him back yet. This is not working. Apple Cat is, is not getting the job done. I need you to freeze them more, my guy. Cutter Cat apparently does massive damage to Red, but you can't tell. <gasps> uh, okay, you know what? I could spend cat food on all of these units to level them up, but I would rather just kind of give them baby food. Something like Heartbeat Cat Academy looks perfect. We've got season one, School Days, where I've apparently already played the first level. I'm not even gonna look to see what the next level has in it because it doesn't matter. If it only costs 20 energy and it's an event stage, then it's probably gonna be baby food. Like I said, I'm just gonna sit here, save up enough money to send in Poseidon, and then he'll have his redemption tour. <laughs> Is there, oh, okay, yeah, we got Red's Redemption Tour against a Red enemy. I like it. Could you do me a favor and not do that, please? Maybe I could just send out like one cat, one weak little cat. Dude, no, you're supposed to leave him for Poseidon. Okay, it's fine. Poseidon is shockingly fast. I've never seen an Uber move that fast before. I mean, except for like a, a couple, but. Oh, he's really tall, too. That's neat. Okay, and then what about... Whoa, yeah, talk about tall. These things are so friggin' cool. All right, this was absolutely overkill. I don't care. Don't care in the slightest. I'm so happy I unlocked them. I, they might be super weak right now, but eventually I'll level them up. For now, we're just gonna keep beating weak levels and hope to unlock something cool. Uh, we've also got these Heartbeat Cat Academy event capsules that come with some interesting looking cats. I've gotten four of them over the last couple of days, so let's try all four of them. I, I hope we get the anime cats, or maybe the other anime cat, or... Oh. Yeah, see, I'm not lucky for getting that. I, I got a cat CPU that makes me lucky. I don't know. Speed up? No, not quite what I'm looking for. Ooh! Limited unit. Okay. We unlocked a chalkboard eraser cat. <laughs> cool. And oh, we got them both. Two, two of the three, I think, limited units. All right. Secret crush cat. La dee da. All right. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. This was a hot mess, to say the least. I think I only played two levels. 
one of which I lost. But we did get two new Ubers and three new interesting cats. And I've got a whole bunch of experience to maybe level them up or level other stuff up so that next episode we can hopefully beat Cat God. I don't know, but if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for slightly more success soon. I, I swear, I always end up saying that at the end of these videos. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.